Hi everybody, I'm Carl and welcome back to NAC 3D Designs. In today's episode, I'm going to cover the circuit board that's here on the hot end. Looks like this one here, or this one here. It's basically just a feed-through circuit board to make it so it's a simple six-pin connector that unplugs the entire hot end from the printer. And I'm going to show you how to wire that up today. So let's get started. Okay, so here it is. This is our quick disconnect hot end circuit board. One six pin connector on one side, three two pin connectors on the other, all Microfit 3.0. To build it, you're gonna need a breadboard, one six pin 90 degree Microfit 3, and three two pin Microfit 3s. You're also gonna need two M3 by eight millimeter screws, your hot end mount, and your hot end carriage. That's just to check fitment. So the first thing you will need to do is sand off, file off some way, take off one whole row of connectors off of your board. So it looks more like this. Reason why is this board will not fit down in between here. You need it to slide nice and neat inside like that. It will screw on right here like so. And then the carriage will set over top of it. Just like this. Or if you want to see it fitted. Those connectors should fit right through like that. This one's right here on top carriage fits on top of that and your connector goes right through here and plugs into the side of the connector. So now I've gone ahead and obviously already filed a board down. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to start soldering on some connections. And actually before we start soldering anything on, first thing we do is we need to clip off I don't know if you can see them or not here. All these little plastic tabs here on the, see those little plastic tabs right there on the edge? Those need to be cut off. Now you can see the difference. I've cut the plastic tabs off. You do that to all three of those. And then on your six pin, it's got this little plunger here in the center. We're going to cut that off, that little right there at the tip of my thumb. And you can see it's cut off now. Now we need to start putting on our two pin connectors. Now two of them will go on tab facing the center. So the locking tab here. Let's try and find my correct placement. And they go on the outside two pins. too far apart. There we go. And then third one. You skip two back and pick the row in the middle. See, I've got that one on backwards. Now 
There we go. Now we've got them identical. We'll go ahead and solder these three connectors on. See, all well, kind of, all six pins there are soldered in place. Now, if you bought the same breadboard I did, which hopefully you did, because I know this one fits, the pins are all connected in lines going this way. Well, obviously, we don't want the left pin and the right pin connected to each other. They're running two separate leads. What we need to do now is we need to take our knife, uh, exacto knife, and score in between these two pins so that it doesn't ohm out as a connected circuit. As you'll see right now, and there it is touching, goes to zero right now. If I touch my two pins, it goes to zero. So we need to make sure that stays open. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut that real quick with our razor knife. Now we can go ahead and ohm these out again and see if they still have continuity. So pins beside it, ohm out. These pins do not. These pins do not. And these pins do not. So I have successfully broken the connection between on those lines. Now what we need to do is we need to start running our wire leads we have, the way we have it done on here. Now what I did for mine is, since the thermistor wires have blue wires, I ran both the connect wires for this connector here on the left they're both blue, since there's no positive or negative polarity. I ran two blue ones on there. I ran the Precision E3D hot end, so it had green wire, so I did, and again, polarity doesn't matter, so I ran the two center pins for the center connector in green. And then for the connector on the right, it's for the cooling fan of the hot end. It does need to be polarity minded. So this top pin is black and the inside pin is red matching the polarity of the fan now the next thing we need to do is we need to figure out exactly where our connector is going and mark it so we know now I put it you have four rows here I put it dead center on the center two rows and you might need to adjust your pins just a little bit so they line up into the board. that row and that row. Now what we'll need to do before we can do anything else, we also need to break the seam on those three rows as well so that it doesn't connect across that connector. Now I'll just check the polarity on those real quick.
running ones are still good. The three that I need, which is this one here, this one here, and this one here are all open circuits now. Because this board gets really hard to see sometimes, at least it does for me, because I'm old. I'm gonna make sure I mark my row. So those three there. Now, we need to start hooking up our jumpers. So you can see it's jumpered to the pin to this side and run across. Now we need to do the same for the green. That takes care of both of our green wires. Now all that's left is to do our red and black. There we go. Come on, focus.
And there we go. That is how your board should look with all the jumpers soldered in place. Last thing we need to do is solder in our six pin connector. Yep, go on the opposite side from these. Give it a slight up angle if you can. I usually end up bending it up just a little bit further after I've got it all soldered in place. One side, that's the other, and that is your completed board. All you need to do now is mount it onto your hot end carriage or hot end mount with the two M3 by 8 millimeter screws. And that completes building your hot end quick disconnect circuit board feed through, whatever you want to call it, pass through board. All right, so that concludes making our circuit board and wraps up today's episode. Now, as always, there are several links in the description below if you want to help support the channel and future development of the Squire and the White Knight. So uh, thank you for tuning in and we'll see you soon.